Hello everyone, welcome back to Distilling Insight, your go-to place for easy and powerful tutorials. Imagine adding professional voiceovers to your videos without recording anything. No mic, no editing, just type and go. In this tutorial, I'll show you exactly how to use a high voice inside Canvas Video Editor. And by the end, you'll be ready to create engaging videos faster and smarter. Uh, let's get into it. The first thing is open your Canva. Be it app or you go to your Edge or your Chrome using www.canva.com. This is the home page. And the next thing we are going to do is I want to create a YouTube video. So I would go with this first option and use it as example to show you how to add AI voice to your words, to your videos. Okay, so can we go to element and add some stock photos? I'm going to use a uh, type in video editor. So I can use that as um, my background. So um, I'll quickly go to my video and then um, I'll look for any of the preferable videos that is not more than 15 seconds. So let me go with a 20 seconds uh, which I can easily uh, reduce. Uh, this is not limited to just creating a YouTube video. You can also use it to create your African folk days uh, videos. So this is it right there. After I've done this, I'm just going to go to my test and I'm going to add the heading to this test. And this heading, I'll just type in three tips for beginners video. And I'll go ahead and add uh, a background just to bring it out to ensure that the test pop out of the video. Once this is added, um, I will go ahead and add another page. Then um, I need a stock video of keeping it simple. So I'm just going to type in keep it simple. You must already have your idea um, on how to make a picture or anything. So I'm just trying to bring a lot of things together and to ensure that the video is speedy enough and doesn't take your time. So, so I'm going to go to test right here and add the heading. And for this heading, I'm going to type in Focus on clean code, you know, and avoid editing, over editing when you're just starting. Then I'm going to add a background likewise. I'm going to add another editing. And this time around, I'm going to put a uh, type in, keep it in simple. And also go to my effect and add a background. So once that is done, I'm just trying to uh, bring you to see the three tips for beginner video editor. Then the third tip is uh, use storytelling. You know, you want it to be engaging. So I'm going to go for a stock photos right here. Storytelling. I'm just going to type in storytelling. Then, uh, good. I'll go to videos. Feel free to use uh, pictures depending on what you're using it to do. At the end of this video, I'm going to uh, put a particular uh, video on how to create African folk taste stories using Canva. Um, so feel free to use that, it will help you. Because then there was no, no AI voice on Canva. The only AI voice I do is that you will need to actually subscribe. So I used my voice, but here you don't have to use your voice. You cannot use Canva word, Canva AI voice. So I'm just going to use this one, just select any of it. then. Um, I'm going to type in, I mean, go to my test, add the heading, and then for this heading, I will type in use storytelling. Once I type in storytelling, I'll go back to my effect and put a background. Then I'll also go back to my test and do what and add another heading. For this heading, I will just type in 
Every great video tells a story. Think of your beginning, middle, and end. Okay, great. Now that I've typed it in, I'm just I'm trying to edit the test. Don't worry. I think uh I'll love to stop maybe here so that I don't but okay, this is the second point. We can easily move on to the third one, the third tip, which will uh be the last one instead of uh doing it halfway. And for this I'm just going to um set for good audio which is the last one you focus on good audio but this good audio i i still need a video for this even though i'm still going to um you know edit most of it okay this 30 seconds will be too long so let me just make do with 10 seconds uh you know this is just for tutorial sake it's nothing serious then I'm adjusting it to fit my background. So here I'm going to do the same thing. Type in add the heading and I'm going to type in focus on good audio. Then I will go to my heading again, add another heading, and I'm going to type in focus on good audio, you know. Like viewers will forgive a blurry video but never a bad, a bad sound. So now I uh, go back to this and add the same effect that you're adding. Trust me, you can change the background of this. I mean, yes, by clicking, you can see the way I did that. You can also change the background. And instead of having it to be black, you can also use the yellow color just to ensure uniform, uh, you, just to ensure that your tests are uniform. And uh, that's all. Once this is done, without wasting so much of our time i just want to show us how to do all of this in an easy way so uh let's begin now now that we've done all of this you can just add uh, don't forget your call to action that is like and subscribe to distilling insight you know once you get there um okay let me just add the last word and go to and go to audio let me just type in like share and subscribe then i'll go to my video i have this particular one yes this eight seconds video so this is just my call to action which is necessary at the end of every video add test and i'm going to add the heading and this time around i'll just subscribe to distilling inside i'm going to bring it up like and subscribe for more i'll tell you why i'm using to this thing why i'm using to editing this is um after i done that i need to also type in subscribe to this student site for more simple and smart content then i would love to add effect right to everything just to bring out the color and i know why i'm doing all of this you would understand later stay tuned stay to turn to the end of the video in order for you to understand why all of this has been done so now that we've added everything that is here the next thing for us to do now is to add our ai voice uh initially before canva launch their visual suit there is this way that you just search for ai voices you know you go to translate all of those threads but now canva has made it easier just click on this test itself Click on this magic right pen that is here. Once you click on it, then come down directly to generate AI voice. You can see that is new. And this generate crystal is new. Is new. Those are the two new features that Canva just added um, as their visual suit, right? So just click on generate AI voice. Once you click on generate AI voice, you can see that the test is here if you need to edit the test probably you've not written or you omitted something feel free to do that right there and you'll find the, the corrections being done easily and once you come here select voice you can see we have english united states english kingdom or uk english australia so we have many languages here from arabic chinese you can see um russian romania see so many languages ukrainian so um i love to still stay with my english us 
So just leave it that way once you've uh, agreed to English years. And here, um, I would love to bring your attention to this. You can see CRAN on this one and there's also CRAN on this. So it means if you are not a pro subscriber, if you are not on a pro plan, you can't have access to this voice. But based on the fact that I'm on a pro plan, trust me, I can use it. So just play through. You have Three tips for beginner video editors. Yes. You have Carol, you have Lisa, we have Ralph, we have Richard. I've tested through all of these and I'm not going to waste your time. Please feel free to actually check through those ones that you have. So I'm going to go with Ralph. Three tips for beginner video editors. Okay. So, um, all. Three tips for beginner video editors. Okay, since I'm a female, and for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to go with Lisa. Once you click on Three Lisa, tips for beginner video editors. Okay, you've listened to that. The next thing is to generate the AI voice. Once you generate it, you know, um, I didn't really check this right when I wanted to add the uh, voiceover. That's one of the things you need to do. So before you add any voiceover, if at all, you you still take no just drag this uh arrow here this direction arrow drag it over to the edge so that once you add the voice it's going to come here but since we have it like this the best thing for you to do is to lift this voice once you lift it it will come here now you can play it to three you. tips for beginner video editors so you can see and uh, it means that's the only part that we need then all I'm doing here is I'm going to split this video and delete this part that is not needed anymore. So once I've deleted it, it's just going to be for what I put here now is let me play it so that you can see. Just play this. Three tips for beginner video editors. So perfect. The next one is we are moving to this particular one. And this one, keep it simple. I am not, I don't want the AI to, uh, to, uh, to voice it for me. So I'm just going to use this. So click on this. And once you click on it, go to generate AI voice. You can see that it has already highlighted. I'll be brought out this particular test. Let me now tell you, if you need to edit the two, like if you need AI to actually voice the two for you, click on your um shift on your keyboard and um have the two highlighted this is what i'm saying uh click outside the box you know it was this that we press once you click on it click on shift and ensure that you click on this you can you will notice that there are dotted lines here which tells you that you have taken i mean you have selected the two test once you click on magic right then you will come to what generate ai voice so if you come over here, you can see that it has added, keep it simple, focus on clean cuts, right? But I don't want it to include this. So I'm just going to click outside it again and do what? And come over here and delete this. That's what I was saying, that you can edit over here. So just click on the backspace on your keyboard and do what? And come to generate AI voice. So it was Lisa that we used initially. We we'll use focus Lisa on again. clean cuts and avoid over editing when you're just starting. Okay. So all you need to do instead of lifting it, come over here and bring it to the edge. See the difference oh, and click on generate AI voice. Just hold on for it. So it has been added. So let's play it so you can hear. Focus on clean cuts and avoid over editing when you're just starting. Can you see how perfect that looks? So now the next thing for us to do is to split this video right here and do what? And delete this particular one. Delete this page because you don't need it again. And if you are done with this, you can delete that out of it. You understand? Since it has already generated the what? The audio for you. The next thing is we move to the next slide and come over here do the same repeatedly i'm not going to be i'm going to be fast in this click on this magic right uh wand then uh click on generate can you see it has already done what added it click on lisa your usual one and don't forget every great to video tells a story think of your beginning middle and end 
So once that is done, click on Generate AI Voice. So it has been added already. Um, I'm just going to drag this. You can split or drag. Once this is stored, I'm going to come over back to this test and do what and delete it and bring this to over to the side. So once this is done, the next thing I'm doing is um, I want to adjust this. Okay. So once this is done, I'll go to the dot slide and do the same likewise. So generate AI voice. Viewers will forgive, then click on Lisa and then you generate AI voice. Okay, so I actually forgot to break this rate, so I'm just going to do it right away. So in case you forget along the line, then shift this again to ensure that it stays on the same line. Click delete for this and this one, bring it here. So we are almost done. The next thing is click on the slide and Please don't forget to bring this back again. Once you bring it back, uh, the next thing, click on the video on itself, the one you want it to actually uh, bring the voice, and then uh, click on this wand icon. Once you click on the wand icon, click on generate AI voice. So you can see subscribe to this thing inside. Click on Lisa, generate AI voice. So it has been added, then reduce this. Once it has been reduced, come over here and delete this. We don't need it anymore. So even this one, you don't really need it because you already have this icon right here. So if you need to animate or do any other thing, then you can go ahead and do them. Okay, now that we have this, let's play it over and listen to what we've done. Three tips for beginner video editors. Focus on clean cuts and avoid over-editing when you're just starting. Every great video tells a story. Think of your beginning, middle, and end. Viewers will forgive a blurry video, but never bad sound quality. Subscribe to Distilling Insights for more simple and smart content creation tips. So perfect. You guys see what we just did. You just did a good job. Don't forget to come over here and name your file. I'm just going to write uh, audio uh, AI audio for this AI audio tutorial. So once this is added, and once you are done, if you are okay, uh, if you have anything to do with this, right click, yes, right click, go to volume, and if you need to increase the volume, you can see increase the volume of the file that's all once you are done if you need to add music ensure that if you are going to paste it on youtube go to youtube studio and get perfect music that goes with this and once you are done click on share and you do what you download your files download in high quality if you are okay with this if you need to increase the quality download it and click on what click on download Always preview your AI voice a few times to make sure it matches the energy of your visuals. Please don't forget. And that's it. You just created a full narrated video in Canva without recording anything yourself. If you found this tutorial helpful, hit that subscribe button and join us here at Distilling Insight where we break down powerful tools to make your content creation easier. See you in the next one.